Well, you guys, today we're taking a look at MS Dart, and everyone needs this Windows recovery tool and install it on their system. This is a really good recovery tool for people that want to uh, reset passwords, also have access to a lot of cool tools and features that is made by Microsoft themselves. It's called the Diagnostic and Recovery Toolkit for 10. That means it does work with Windows 11, but they haven't released a version with Windows 11. It is called Dart 10. That's the very latest version they've got. I'll leave all the links in the video description so you can read all about it, how you can get it and stuff like that. I won't be uh, sharing links for my creation here. You will need a license for that and you will need to sort that out for yourself. But I'm going to show you the whole process on how to build it. Again, ADK files you'll need, which is the Windows Assessment uh, and Development Kit. And you're also going to need the WinPE uh, kit as well. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and download and install all of these, accept all their terms and go through the motions here and get this all installed. Now, this part here is all of the features that you want to install. Now, in theory, you only need the deployment tools and Windows pre-installation environment WinPE tools. Uh, these two here what I've highlighted so you can uncheck the rest if you want it's not going to hurt your system if you leave any of these check marked uh, it's no big deal but if you do want to save space you can uncheck all of those and just use those two that I highlighted so I'm going to go ahead and get those installed on the system and uh, once they're done we can move on to the next step because we will need to install uh, the Windows PE uh, part of the ADK files now you can install this as part of your Windows uh, boot menu, or you can have it set as a uh, bootable USB flash drive. Uh, it will download and create an ISO for you. And once you've done that, you can basically use this to fix a lot of problems with Windows. These are the two files that you're going to need to install here, as you can see. So one of them is the Windows Assessment and Deployment Kit Windows Pre-Installed Environment add-on uh, for Windows 10. There is one for Windows 11, and there's also ones for different versions. So make sure you get the right version. Uh, you just do a search on their site. And this is doing all the Windows PE uh, part of it as well, which you can install and get installed on the system as well. So you'll need both of those. I'll try and leave the links in the video description for both of these, but depending on what version of Windows you're running, you might need a slightly different version. So do a search for whatever version you're running here. If you do, if you've got the latest version of Windows 10, then you'll just need the very latest versions of the ADK files. Next, you're going to need a Windows 10. So download Windows 10, download the media creation tool and download the ISO from the media creation tool here because you will need that version of Windows 10. So you can go ahead and get this downloaded here. So I'm just going to quickly open this up and uh, download Windows 10 from here. This will give us the very latest version of Windows 10. If you're using an older version of Windows 10, maybe an older version uh, of Windows 10 that's end of life and you're still using it, then you will need to use uh, an ADK file for that particular version, okay? So make sure you do a search for that uh, version of Windows that you're using. Other than that, you have uh, just go through the motions here, choose which uh, architecture you want here. I'm gonna download the ISO file so we can mount it. And we'll go ahead and uh, download all of this to our download section and uh, we should be good to go. So let me go ahead and put Windows 10 here and save this and get it downloaded uh, to this location. Now I made a video on this topic many, many years ago and uh, some people uh, see some of those videos and ask me to make a full in-depth video on how to get it and download it and install it and how to create it. So that's why I'm creating this video for you. That's now all installed on this system. This is obviously on a virtual machine. Once you mount the MDOP uh, 2015, you should see the versions inside here. And uh, I'm going for Dart 10, which is the very latest version they've got. It does uh, load up on Windows 11 as well. So I'm not sure if they're gonna be uh, releasing the MS Dart 11, but this is MS Dart 10. And all you need to do now is install this version. Now, again, I won't be leaving links for this particular stuff in the video description. You need to read that document on how to get this. Uh, it is a subscription uh, system, so you will need to uh, do that. And again, I won't be creating this and leaving a link for that. So no flaming me in the comments section. I'm already telling you in the video that you're not going to be able to get that from me. OK, so let's go ahead and leave this all check marked here. And this is just going to install all of the tools that we need, the crash analyzer, the the dart recovery image and the other one we've got checkmarked there. So let's go ahead and click yes. 
And this will now install it and click finish. Now that's done, we can now go to our start menu. You should see it installed here. And what we need to click on here is the Dart recovery image. This will open up the software and we can then open up our diagnostic recovery image wizard. So you can see here, this is what we've got. And you can see it says Windows 10 Media. We can choose to create a 64-bit Dart image or 32-bit. We're going to go for 64-bit. And again, if this was for Windows 11, uh, it would be only 64-bit. They wouldn't have a 32-bit. But this is for uh, Dart 10 for Windows 10, theoretically. But it will work on Windows 11. Now, all of the tools we're going to leave checkmarked here. So all of these tools are going to be what we're going to be using. And this will all be added to our actual ISO. So you can see here some useful stuff inside there, like password reset, disk commander, uh, crash analyzer, uh, hotfix, uninstaller. You see locksmith, registry editor, SFC scan now. So there's a lot of these uh, are going to be useful to you. You can have remote connection on this as well. So we'll add this in as well. Uh, which is going to be useful. Let Windows choose all of that. Now, if you need to install certain drivers for your machine, maybe it's not recognizing certain things like your network driver and stuff, you can add those in here by clicking Add, selecting your uh, network driver or whatever driver you want to add into here. And you can do, this is the Win WinPE. Again, the very top one is what you can select here or a bunch of other ones if you want to use those. And you've got the other crash analyzer as well. Uh, area here which you can use as well but we're just going to leave this alone for this video uh, instead of installing extras on here so next up what we're going to do here is click on next and move on to the next section which is where we can give the image a name which is going to call it dart 10 and again we can now create a wim windows imaging format which will create the boot.wim file for us and we can also create an iso file and we can also create a PowerShell script as well. You can uncheck whatever you want here. And we can even edit the image as well, which will allow us to add and modify files to our Dart image. This is going to be our WinP. So we can actually add in, say, for instance, uh, portable applications in here at this stage if we wanted to, or add whatever we want into at this uh, stage, depending on how you want to go about setting yours up. Once we do this, it's going to prepare our dart image for us and you can also go ahead and it will generate files and then create the boot media if you want to create a bootable usb flash drive or you can use uh, that iso to and use rufus to create your bootable media if you want to or you can go through and use this once it's all completed you should have something looking like this which is your dart uh, 10 iso file you'll also have uh, some scripts if you added those in there and your WIM file if you selected those they will be in this folder as well but all you need to do now is either create a bootable uh, media or you can use that tool to create it or use Rufus or whatever you want to use so let's quickly boot up to this and have a look and see what it looks like so you'll get this screen looking right here when you uh, have the recovery options available we're going to go into troubleshoot and this is where you'll see that Microsoft diagnostic and recovery tool set this is where you'll get options for a lot of more tools other than what you would normally get inside Windows. We can now click on this one here, and this is where we get all of those useful tools for repairing and recovery and things like that. So you can see we've got the registry editor here. This is to repair the operating system by using the registry editor. And again, you can gain access to this as well, but this one is quite useful. We can back up the registry, make edits to the registry, and things like that. If we've made changes and if things not bootable, we can use the registry editor to fix that. Locksmith, again, if you've got a password on the account and you can't gain access, you can use this recovery tool set to remove any passwords on any of the accounts on that computer. Crash Analyzer, this is more for the advanced user where you can use the dump files and use the uh, debugging tools. If you don't understand how to use this, then you can skip this. But that is quite useful for uh, crash analyzing dump files and you know how to read those, you can use that feature. Again, search feature for file restore. You can search for files and basically recover those files. You can use the Explorer if you wish, if you know where they are, and just drag and cut them over to an uh, external drive if you wish. Again, Disk Commander is another one for fixing your master boot record and having any sort of issues with volumes, lost volumes, and things like that. You can use this tool for that particular type of thing. 
We also have a disk wipe, which is going to allow you to erase the data on that disk. You can see here, and we can now do a single pass and overwrite with a pseudo random data. And you also have the four passes of US Department of Defense where we can quickly erase that so it makes it unrecoverable. Again, we've got computer management here. You can go into here and look at all your Windows logs, application logs, disk management. You can deal with that all inside the computer management console here. This is going to allow you to check for uh, maybe uh, bad drives or maybe you've got Windows errors that you want to check. You can use that area here. We also have a help section and Explorer, which is going to allow you to explore the drive. So maybe you can't boot up the drive and you want to get some files off. You can use the Explorer and copy those files over. Next up, we've got the solution wizard here, which is going to help you uh, resolve issues with the system. You can see here system will not start correctly not log into because of lost password and so on. It does some basic stuff there. Uh, TCP IP config. This is going to obviously allow you to configure your adapters for your network uh, cards here. And again, hotfix uninstall. This is going to allow you to reinstall and uninstall uh, the software and also uh, updates from Microsoft. So let's go ahead and quickly uh, click on this here. And you can see here they all have certain types of features that you can uninstall and reinstall and try to repair them from here. Maybe you're having an issue with, say, a package for roll-up fix or something else, or maybe a printer or something like that. And you can see it inside here. It will try to fix this. Maybe it's something to do with a step recorder here, and you can click Next, and it will try to restore the files and fix those so the problem goes away. So you can cho choose this method if you wish. Maybe you've just updated Windows and you need to remove one of those um, updates, you can do that. And you can see here now it's reinstalled that and fixed it, and it succeeded. Next up, you've got the SFC scan. Now, again, this is another repair system file. This has been added into Windows as well. But this will allow you to do it from this uh, environment, which is a much better chance of success. And also we've got search and also remote connection, which is going to allow you to remote connect into a system via this method, which is quite useful as well. So pretty useful stuff. And again, if you've added portable apps into yours, you would have access to those. And that is the Windows Recovery Toolkit that's designed by Microsoft. Quite useful. And uh, I'll leave all the information in the video description. My name has been Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. Just want to say a quick shout out to all my YouTube members. I really do appreciate the support and I shall catch you in the very next video. Thanks again for watching. Have a lovely day. Bye for now.